Also, um, I just ate a whole bowl of pasta, so if you came here to see abs, you're not gonna get them. This is what I should have to do. Happy 2021, my little fellow peaches. I hope that this year brings you a lot of growth, strength, love, and light. With that being said, and it's a new year, let me first um, ask you guys that haven't subscribed to just quickly subscribe, please. I'd appreciate it. You can become a part of the Peach Fam. Anyway, 2021, you know what that means. Typically, that means New Year's resolutions. And resolutions are sometimes a good thing, sometimes not such a good thing. But one thing I do know for sure is that it is a time for me to reflect and think about being a bit more consistent with my exercising because, you know, sometimes overall gets a little bit lazy. And that's okay too, but um, I don't want to be lazy all the time. So, the only thing to cure laziness in me is to get cute gym clothes. So, I have already done one of these hauls before. I will link it up here. And I think I've done a few things, so I'll link them all throughout our time together here. Uh, but this is going to be an updated haul. I must mention one thing. The last time I did one of these, I called it a plus size active wear haul. And I kind of got a bit dragged because people said that I wasn't plus. Now this is a topic that often comes up in my videos and I don't really know how to please everyone and I'm not really trying to. But I am a size 16 to 18 on my bottom and I am a size 14 to 16 on my top. That is UK sizing. Maybe that's where everyone's getting confused and they think yeah, I'm speaking about US sizes, but regardless, a size 10 is seen as plus size. So riddle me that. Bada ba boom pow. Oh! I'm so sick and tired of not being good enough to be in that place and not being good enough to be in that place. I just I want a place to belong, you know what I mean? Anyway, things are getting deep now. But those are my sizes. I'll try and go through all of the sizes. I'll list everything down there below. This is just some cute stuff that I picked up recently. So it should be available in stores at the minute. Some of the stuff was on sale, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into the video. Subscribe! Don't forget, please. Please. Thanks. Bye. Well, I mean, I'll see you now. Okay, so as most YouTubers do, I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing. Groundbreaking. And it is from Cotton On. Surprise, surprise! But you guys know that I do work with them and I love to review their stuff, try it out, and these are some of my faves so far. So I have this, it's like a very minty kind of green top on. It's got pads, uh, circular pads, if you can see. It's a tiny bit see but it's a very comfortable, thick-strapped, uh, low-impact kind of bra. I like the detailing on the back. Doesn't like necessarily like squish me in. Okay, okay. As I was saying, uh, this top is like a low-impact yoga kind of bra. I'll link all the details below, but it's super cute, and it matches these. <laughs> So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you haven't, please do, um, I will link it up here for you. I have shown you these pants before. Now I'm going to have to change the camera to show you again. Um, oh gosh, I'm like, what else can you do that? So these are the little matching shorts that I got. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I spoke about that this was towards the end of 2020 was the first time I wore workout shorts since lord knows but now i'm obsessed can't stop wearing them i have these in black and i have them in green and these are my fave by far i wear them to the shops i wear them to work out they're just really cute super comfortable lightweight they don't roll up also um i just ate a whole bowl of pasta so my stomach be poking out and i don't really give a fuck so if you came here to see abs you're not gonna get them. They have two little pockets. Well, they're actually quite very long pockets. It's like a whole arm. <laughs> you can fit a damn water flask in here on both sides. And it comes up really nice and high over here. And um, I think it has a front pocket. Yep, 
has a tiny little inbuilt pocket over there. I am obsessed with these, they aren't see-through. I think if I wash them a few more times, they probably are gonna get a bit more see-through. Black ones have not changed whatsoever, and I love those ones way more than these ones. So I wonder if you guys can hear my cat breathing, because that's not cute. Mouth breather. Next up, we got this cute little situation. So, they don't match, right? I'm still trying to find something that matches with this, but it is such a beautiful baby blue. I have these in green, and I think the green ones are my favorite pants of all time from Cotton On. And that's saying a lot. So I picked these up from the store. I assume that they're going to be exactly the same. I haven't actually tried them on. And then just to match that, I have a little blue, like, I think you would maybe call this waffle material, or like, it's very... Let me try and show you. There we go, that's a bit more true to colour. Anyway, so let me try this on for you guys, and you can see what I'm talking about. The match isn't actually that bad, it's not even that different. I think I might have to throw in a different angle here for you guys to see, but um, I love the rib detail on them. I love that they have huge pockets. The bra is definitely, I think, a mid to high support because it's got this extra crisscross detailing over here which you can change into just a normal strap. It goes up super nice high waisted. Do I love them as much as the green ones? No, but typically with light colored pants they are quite see-through so I can see that there's a tiny bit of see-throughness going on here but nothing that I'm worried about and yeah I like it. <laughs> else I'm supposed to say. Uh, let me move on to the next item. I think I've changed my mind and I'm gonna try and rather talk about the clothes here and show you a insert over there of me trying them on. So we have this beautiful purple item from Under Armour. I've never actually bought anything from Under Armour before. I was introduced to it by my sister. She, there's a bug on my face. She lent me a pair of tights and I was absolutely blown away by them. The, the fit they last forever apparently, really well made. And I just love this color, I don't have anything that's purple. It's got the detailing over here as well that says Under Armour. Um, the crisscross back, which is super pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna obviously try this on with the black tights, but I wanted to show you. Basically, I wish I could have found pants in this color, but I cannot. So I got it in black as well. <laughs> So exactly the same bra, um, just a little bit of a different white and black design. And then it comes with a matching pair of leggings. So these leggings are like the typical, they're very similar to the ones that my sister had. Very beautiful material, it has a thick, nice waistband over here. This inner is super soft, I don't know what's going on here, but that's like very gorgeous. So yeah, these are made from a store called Total Sports. So in South Africa, it's basically like a department store, sports store, store <laughs> where you can get all different kinds of big name brands, but they also have an in-house brand. So it's got a tiny bit of branding over here, uh, which you can see, uh, TS. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that these are one of the best quality bike tights that I have actually come across so far. If you guys watched my last haul, which I'll link up here again, there was a pair of blue tights which I could not stop using. It's so similar to that material from, I think it was from OTG. So I'm gonna try these on, and then I have a few random bras, uh, two bras from other brands that I'm gonna mix and match with these. First of all, we have this weird and wonderful one from Reebok. It is basically like a one shoulder sports bra. Now, when you think this, you think, oh my God, Alex, my tits are literally gonna go to Buckingham Palace when I do a jump squat in this. But that is not true. For some reason, there is a decent amount of support. It's also got some beautiful inners that feel super comfortable. Um, the back is like a really nice, thick, thick, thick strap. So I like that because sometimes I have like a little bit of these little thingies that always pop out, which I'm trying to learn to love. But this is super stylish. I know that this design is definitely in fashion at the moment. So I wish I could have found matching pants, but um, your girl didn't, but all in all, I'm down for this top. And then second of all, we have one from your good old friends at Adidas. So I say Adidas, some people say Adidas, 
I'm going to say Adidas just because I feel like it and I think that that's the right way to say it. Adidas. But I needed this basic. So it is a, I would say lightweight, probably light to mid. The only thing with this is it doesn't have pads. I think it is the first bra that I've got here that doesn't have inserted pads. But that's perfectly fine because sometimes it's just nice to not have things squishing your titties down, you know what I mean? And this is also versatile, it's something that I would wear to gym as well as for athleisure wear, so super, I'm gonna say it again, versatile. Last but not least, I'm gonna move over to our good old friends at Nike. So, one of my very first influencing jobs was with Nike. It was kind of even before influencing was a thing, I think that they were just trying to test the waters. And I got given a gym set. So I got given a white bra that was very similar to this one, which unfortunately, I think it's like, what, four years down the line? Something like that. It's only starting to like wear and tear now. So I had to invest in a new one. And you know, your girl loves black. So this seemed like the vibe. Oh, this also doesn't have inserts. I think I took the inserts out of the other Nike one just because it really doesn't need them. So this is in a size large and it is, I wonder what kind of support, oh medium support, there we go. So I got one of these bras and I've got three different kinds of Nike shorts that I'm going to try out. So first pair over here is we have this beautiful maroon uh, colour. It is, it's not really showing up. Red never shows up the way it's supposed to on camera. Quality feels amazing. Um, I think that this is made with... It's dry fit. Yeah, I thought so. So there's these. And then just because I love them that much, I got them in a pair, a black pair as well. I think that they are exactly the same. And I'm trying to figure out which shorts I love more. Um, but again, got the little Nike logo over there. Very discreet, very... Normal. <coughs> Whoa. Exactly the same. Uh, I wonder if I got them in the same size. Yeah, these are also. <gasps> yes. I got these both in a large. Funny enough, the sizing discrepancy with gym stuff is flipping weird. Super, super weird. A lot of the stuff I tried on had a problem with my waist. And if it wasn't a problem with my waist, it was too tight around my little beaners and it looked like I had um, like chow pale legs, don't know if that makes sense, <laughs> you know that dog. So last but not least, put these there, we have a Nike Pro set. So I have never got anything that's Nike Pro before. I think that these are made for like them badass bitches that are doing like CrossFit 24-7. And I'm not one of them, but I want to be. <laughs> I have not tried these on. So you guys are going to get the first reveal, um, I, why couldn't I try them on? Oh, the COVID situation. They seem a lot more short than I thought. And they're in an extra large. So I wonder what's going to happen. Um, this waist situation, very thick, very supportive. Um, a little bit tighter than the previous material, like not as, is it the same? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, and then it's got like this cross situation going on. Oh, where's the front? There we go. Um, on the front, and then that is the back. So, yeah. I had a mama. Well, that is that, guys. Thank you so much for watching the haul. Please don't subscribe. Don't subscribe to forget to like. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification bell just because it gives you a notification every time I upload a new video. And who doesn't want to know when life's being peachy? And I got a message to my phone. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, leave your favorite. And let me know which one y'all think was the bestest.